What is up, everybody? This is the Wild Report, and today I'm going to be talking about a very strange animal, which all of you have probably seen or heard of, and this animal, of course, is the blobfish. Now, at first glance, the blobfish would appear to be some kind of elaborate hoax, or maybe the animal that evolution skipped over. But, in this video, I will explain why both of these are definitely not true. First off, the blobfish is definitely not a hoax. It is a scientifically proven to exist animal of the sci -ru I can't say it. But, it is a proven fact that blobfish do exist. Now, the blobfish has become a bit of a superstar around social media, with lots of people making memes of its sad face, and it even has its own plush toy line, if you really think that that face is cuddly. But there is much, much more to the sad looking creature than what meets the eye. The blobfish is actually an evolutionary miracle. Now, living at such extreme depths as up to 12 or 13,000 feet, the blobfish actually has no swim bladder. This means that it cannot control its own buoyancy and has very limited control over its movements. Now, no one has ever actually seen a blobfish in its natural habitat because humans and most of our technology will implode or explode under such extreme pressure. However, by looking at other closely related species of fish in the same genus, we can see what we think a blobfish would look like in its natural habitat. Now, the blobfish's eating patterns are one of its more interesting qualities. You see, at such extreme depths, there is absolutely no energy from the sun, and therefore no producers can thrive. So, we think the blobfish probably just sits around waiting for the currents to carry it to a food source. Now, this food is not conventional fish food. It is actually pelletized poop and decomposing plant and animal matter from the upper levels that have condensed into pellets and are now floating down. Now, the blobfish's method of gathering food is actually very energy efficient. It expends almost no extra calories on swimming and rather waits for its food to come to it. This is an example of how the blobfish is actually very sophisticated. Here is an actual picture of a close cousin to the blobfish, the blob sculpin, in its natural habitat. We can see that it does not look very blobby at all. In fact, it looks pretty much like any other oceanic fish. This is probably exactly what a blobfish would look like if you were to go to the bottom of the ocean and see it. The reason it looks like it does is because as you bring it out of the depths, there is such an instant change in pressure that its body cannot keep up, and its skin basically turns to tissue paper, and its insides explode. This, combined with lack of sunlight in the bottom of the ocean, is what gives the blobfish its classical blobby look. So the next time you go to make a joke about how ugly this poor creature is, just remember it did not always look this way, and there is much more to the blobfish than what meets the eye. Alright guys, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you didn't, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more outdoor and animal related awesomeness. Uh, check out part one of my weird animal series, that was the Thornbugs. There should be a link up here somewhere, swimming with the fish. So yeah, have a great day guys, thanks for watching.